Welcome back. This tutorial continues on from our last video on the move method by looking at the roll method. The easiest way to think about this is by thinking of a plane doing a barrel roll. Kinda like this. Okay, well let's try it. We will make the otter roll left two revolutions. Okay, now let's make the Aboriginal man roll twice as well. That's kind of strange. He rolled from his feet. Unfortunately, this is one of the quirky things about Alice. All of the objects are made differently, so to figure out what they're going to do, we will need to look at their axis points. If we go to the Otter's Properties tab, next to the Methods tab, we can set the Otter's opacity, or how see-through he is. If we set it to 40%, he becomes partly invisible, and three colored lines become more clear. The green and the red lines are for the turn method, so we don't need to worry about them right now. We're concerned with the blue line, which is the center point along which the otter rolls. His body will spin around that line. All the components of the otter, his body, shoulder, elbow, and foot, have three axes around which they move. Let's do the same thing for the man. Notice that his blue line is at his feet, so when he rolls, he rolls around that line and disappears into the ground. Now let's try rolling his upper body left, a quarter of a revolution. He leans over to the side, as his body's blue line is in the middle of his waist. When working with these methods, you just have to accept that they are sometimes in places that are different to what you may expect, so either look for the blue line by changing the opacity, or just experiment and see what happens when you roll them. Why would we want to use roll? Well, how about we make the man lean up against a tree? Let's go find a suitable tree for him to lean on. I want to remove our first few methods to get them out of the way. Now we make his upper body roll left 0.05 of a revolution. Then let's make him bring up his arm a quarter of a revolution. Finally, let's roll his hand right a quarter of a revolution. Let's see how that looks. There you go. He leans on a tree. What would make this look better? If we did it all together. So let's put it in a do-together block. Hey, perfect. That looks great. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look at the turn method. Thanks for watching.